how to reverse image search using Google Lens and Google Images. The first thing you need to do is open up your browser and navigate to google.com. You can also navigate to images.google.com. Once you're on google.com, in the search box to the right hand side, you should see a camera icon that lets you search by image. Click on the camera icon. The search box will now be replaced and it will say search any image with Google Lens where you can drag an image into this box to upload it or you can paste the image link that you want to do a reverse image search on. To perform a reverse image search on Google, we're going to need an image. I'm going to navigate to my other tab here to show you the image that I'm going to be performing a reverse image search on. It's this picture of this woman here. Google Lens allows us to upload a downloaded file or copy the image link. If you wanted to use the image link, simply right click on the image and then click on copy image address. If you wanted to upload the file, then you would need to have a downloaded image. So I'm just going to download this image of this woman to show you both methods. So I'm just going to navigate to where it says download free here and I'm going to click on it. And then as you can see, the image has been downloaded. Now I'm going to go back to my other tab, back to the Google Lens upload area. So if you wanted to reverse image search using the copied image link, just simply left click on this box, right click, and then paste the image link address and then click on search. If you have a downloaded image, you can either drag the image into this box or you can click on upload a file. A small window will open where I'll need to locate my image. I just downloaded my image so it'll be in the downloads folder. So I'm just going to double click on downloads and there we go. There's the image we just downloaded. So I'm going to click on it to select it and then I'm going to click on open. The image will then be uploaded. I'm just going to X out of the download receipt here so we can see everything a bit better. We're now viewing our uploaded image in Google Lens. So as you can see our image is right here and we've got a selection box which we can resize. Currently we're in search. There's also text and translate. For this video we'll be using search but if your image had text you could click on text and you can click and drag to select any text. If your image had text that you need to translate in, you can click on translate and then Google Lens would immediately auto detect the language and translate it to your desired language. You can click on these two bubbles here to change your language if you want. As you can see, this woman has a necklace on and it's automatically translating this word for us on the image and to the right hand side here. We're interested in search, so I'm just going to go back to search here by clicking on it. When you're performing a search using Google Lens, make sure you are selecting the image correctly. If you want to perform a full reverse image search on your image, make sure that the entire image is selected. You can use this box to make the appropriate adjustment for the reverse image search. If we look closely at the image, you can see there's two white circles here on our image. These are the items of clothing that this woman is wearing. So you can see she's wearing a necklace and a black tank top here. So if I click on the necklace circle here, you can see the image selection here is shortened and focus is put on the necklace. So if we look to the right hand side, you can see all the search results involved in that particular necklace, including visual matches. And if we click on the circle for the crop top here, and we look to the right hand side for the visual matches, you can see it's picking up visual matches for the crop top and the necklace once again. For this video demonstration, I want a reverse image search on the entire image. So I'm just going to grab the corners here and make sure the entire image is selected in Google Lens. If we look on the right hand side, we can see the visual matches for the image that we uploaded. So you can see there's two visual matches here. This woman's image appears in pexels.com and etsy.com. Let's click on one of these visual matches just to see if she does indeed appear on a listing in etsy.com. So I'm just going to click on the etsy.com visual match here. A new tab will then open, taking us to an Etsy shop where the image appears. So I'm just going to scroll down down until I locate my image and if we look to the left hand side you can see a little thumbnail of that woman's image and if I click on that thumbnail we can see the full image appears here on this listing. I'm now going to close out of this tab and I'm going to scroll back up to the top here. Above the visual matches we can see that there is a Google search result for the image that we uploaded and that result is titled 70 pieces antique silver chakra energy charms. So if I click on this Google search icon here at the top right hand corner, it will take us to Google search. And if we scroll down past all the top ads to find the exact same name of the search result that appears in Google Lens and click on it, you can see we are now taken to an Amazon shop. And if we look to the left hand side, you can see a thumbnail preview of the image that we uploaded. So you can see it appears on this Amazon shop too. And you can see the necklace that she's wearing is a bit different to what she's wearing in our up uploaded image, but you can see her likeness is the exact same. I'm now going to close this tab here to go back to Google Lens. Another Google Lens tool, which is very useful, 
variable can be found above the image that you just uploaded, and that is the find image source, which will allow you to see web pages that include this image. So if I click on find image source, a new tab will open and will be taken to Google Images. Google Images pre-fills the image search box with search terms or keywords based on our uploaded image. You can see it also gives us the dimensions of our image and the amount of results. Underneath, it says possible related search and then the search keywords that it has decided to search based on our image. We're not particularly interested in possible related search results, so continue scrolling down. Underneath that, you'll see the visually similar images, which Google Lens already gave us and gave us very good results. Unfortunately, this time for Google Images, the visually similar images are similar as they are all women, but it's not the same likeness of the woman's image that we uploaded. Continue scrolling down to see the pages that include matching images. This is what we're interested in on Google Images. All these websites under this heading have our image featured in them. So you can see the preview here on the right hand side for all of these websites. And if we continue to scroll down, there's even more search result pages, which may feature our image. We're going to just stay on page one. So as we can see, there's quite a few websites containing our image. I'm going to click on a website now just to show you that this woman does appear on that particular website. So I'm going to click on the website for unsplash.com. So I'm just going to click on this search heading here. I'm going to scroll down until I see our image. And as you can see, guys, here's our image. So I'm just going to click on it here to magnify it. And if I go back to my first tab, you can see it's the exact same image that we originally downloaded from this website, uploaded to Google Lens and Google Images, and we've been taken back full circle to the original source of the image. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video demonstration showing you all the ins and outs of Google Lens and Google Images. And that pretty much concludes the video on how to reverse image search using Google Lens and Google Images. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Is it so I to live?